Hey everyone, Dave with Baku here. Today we're going to do a gear review on the Storm G2. Uh, this Storm's been totally redesigned to have the full suspension. We beefed up this rear suspension arm. The amount of torque that's coming off this ultra motor over time can twist the full suspensions on bikes. With this design, absolutely will not tweak or feel any of the, the torsion of pulling on the frame. Comes with the RockShox Monarch. This, the shock in the middle with 150 millimeters of travel. We run the front with an air fork too with 120 millimeters of travel with a lockout and a rebound suspension on the blue knob. Uh, one thing that we really enjoy on these bikes, we, we research and develop a lot of different things and it comes down to you know hunting in the field and how we ride with packs and backpacking and camping uh, with this you know wide stance of these handlebars the grips to give you comfort uh, it really makes a big difference to our sport saddle seats the storm comes with the lithium-ion Panasonic cells with the 17 amp hour so you're gonna get around 30 to 40 miles average on that battery you can upgrade to a 21 to add another 10 15 miles to your ride the big thing that's power in this storm is the ultra motor the G620, uh, 160 newton meters of torque. This is now equipped with the steel gearing in it, no nylon in there for noise reduction. So it's really gonna hold up and outperform. We've equipped the bike with quad piston Tektro hydraulics with 203s front and rear, and with the thickest rotors to give you maximum stopping power. It is a nine by one cassette uh, SRAM. It's a uh, 12 by 36 on the rear and the front is a 38 tooth with the chain guard on there to help minimize any of the damages to the chain ring. On the display up here we've got it full throttle. You got your shifting here, your brakes. Uh, one nice thing that we offer in all of our models you know, on the Mule and Storm is you're able to set the bike and modify it to class one, two, or three with a couple simple modifications to the bikes. The one nice function on the Storm is you got a walk mode. So if you get in a pinch and need to get up a hill, you just hold down and it'll walk up the hill. Uh, you definitely want to keep in mind the gearing even in walk mode is going to play a big factor in how you get up the hill. Just right now we're in granny gear, so the thing's going to climb up really good hills and go maybe one mile an hour. You get down in ninth gear, the smallest COG 12, it can do about 3.5 miles per hour, so it's a good steady pace on a flat road. The bikes are, we run the Maxxis Minions on these 26 by fours. They are 120 TPI, so there's 120 Kevlar strands every inch to give you uh, less rubber and maximum flexibility in the rub in the tire for less punctures. Our pedals that we ran, they're uh, not, you don't hold a lot of mud, minimal slipping with these spikes. They all come with the, the KCM high tensile steel e-bike chain, uh, nine speed. They come with the rack, the fenders. They do come with the kickstand in these, which some sport models don't. And it is adjustable so you can get your height set so it's standing correctly. So when you're on the trail, you don't have to keep laying your bike down, keep your bike upright. We recommend that you do your research on e-bikes. There's a lot of different in the, in the, in the realm of e-bikes, from motors to batteries to components. Uh, and we recommend that you do your research, do your homework, call us if you have any questions. Even if you don't buy from us, we'll give you as much information uh, that you need to answer the questions on batteries, motors, etc. Thanks for watching. Please subscribe, check out our website, baku.com, and any of our local dealers that are around you, and we'll be Love to see you become a tribe member.